The Irish Boyle Cattle Society has an official breeding program which is a legal requirement of all breed societies. Uh, the classification is seen as a tool to help breeders select for their breeding purposes. Um, it is one of the main tools in the Irish Boyle Cattle Society breeding program. I've been breeding the Ballyvesey herd for 20 years now. I got my first cow the wife bought me it and uh, the majority of the animals are descended from that one animal. I'm now on my seventh generation and I have a very nice heifer. Hello, my name is Lyndon Bustard. I'm senior classifier for Holstein UK NBDC. I've been classifying now for 27 years and uh, been classifying in Northern Ireland that length of time as well and have been involved with the classification of the Irish moils since its inception almost 10 years ago. My name is Paul Bowl. I'm the classifier with IHFA. We're here on an Irish moil farm in the north of Ireland this evening uh, to do a classification workshop with Holstein UK. The classifiers are here as well. So we have animals in the shed identified that we want to go through to identify the strengths and the weaknesses. And that's really what classification does. It identifies the strengths and the weaknesses of any animal. Every animal has a strength and every animal has a weakness. So we try to improve the weaknesses and hold on to the strengths. And that's how breed improvement helps. And that's how, that, that's how it works. I decided some time ago that I thought it was time I got a lot of the cows classified. So I uh, sent uh, Gillian, the secretary, a message saying that I was interested. And she notified Holstein UK and said that they would be in touch. So I got a letter from Holstein UK telling me when they were in the area. And then they contacted me to arrange when to come out and do the classification. The reason that we would uh classify the cows is to uh, first of all add value to the individual animals. Obviously the higher that they score the more they should be worth. We're using just an evaluation for type. So the higher that they score the more they're going to be worth at the end of the day. This also tends to build up pedigrees within a few generations. So the longer the pedigree with VGs and excellence in it possibly the more valuable it's going to be. Um, I classify around 40 to 50 animals in the in south of Ireland uh, each year. Uh, each herd gets one, one visit a year and uh, you try and get the animals when they're milking, when their calves are suckling them and during the summer months. Uh, I think it's the same here in the, in the north of Ireland. I think maybe there's uh, a little opportunity maybe in the north for to do maybe two visits a year for some herds but uh, because the classifiers are coming in more often. We want the cows to be functional for type long lasting and to suit the farmer's purposes. We tend to start with them and we'll, we'll start with, with the heifer at two years old after her first calf and we can look at her up until she's seven or eight years old with subsequent calves, add more points but we can never take points off. Okay ladies and gentlemen uh, we'll just kind of maybe run through uh, from nose to tail on them, what we're looking for, what we don't like to see. Um, obviously at the start we want the big broad muzzle. They have to eat grass for a living so we don't want any anteater noses on them. We want the big nostrils wide through the base of the muzzle and a correct jaw set. Um, to prepare for the classification I had to bring the cows in and have them in a hard standing area so that the classifier could see them moving on the concrete yard. I had to have all their details, all the pedigree certificates and all the cows had to be lactating at the time of the classification. We prefer to see the animals inside on a hard standing so we can properly evaluate their feet and legs and locomotion. Um, we like to do them individually and uh, we have stature requirements set up inside the yard which makes it accurate to, you know, to measure how, t how tall each animal is. That's nine, that's seven, that's five, three and one. Okay, 138 centimeters is a nine. So this, uh, this heifer's going to be probably just about a six I would think. Six, yep. Um, the cost of it um, we can discuss uh, through the through the society. Um, we like to try to do a minimum of 10 animals when we go, if possible. And um, but inside is preferable when we when we do classify the animals. Um, I know not everybody's. It's not possible for everybody, but a hard standing even outside is okay. Uh, the rain tends to affect our computers a little bit, so preferably a roof over the head or a sunny day works better.
It's important that we get our first uh, calf and heifers classified and anything else that you think would maybe improve and go up in the classification and uh, it's, it's always a good selling point whenever you come to sell stock if they've got a, a few generations of excellent cows behind them. Each, each animal we score, there's 20 linears that is taken in, then you have the breakdowns, you have the body, you have the legs and feet, you have the dairy character, the breed character in most cases, and that information is downloaded directly into the ICBF, into the database, so that the breeders in the south can get that information back. The information then is sent back to the Northern Ireland and it is updated on the, the Holstein UK website as well. So that if a, a member in the south is buying an animal from the north, all that information is available on them. Gillian had everything then. I was notified then how the classification had gone, so, and I was quite pleased. Then it is up to the society to update all the results in the herd book. Um, these results will be updated in a, in a zoo technical certificate, a replacement if it's ever required by the breeder. The score is appended to the end of the animal's name on the herd book, and that is updated at the end of every year. Also, there is a classification report published by the society every year. All the excellent and VG animals that was classified that year are published. The very top end of the, the results as an excellent 95s, excellent 94s, we try and do a wee feature on those animals with a, a photograph and a small sat sentence or two about the animal. I know with the sale in the autumn that comes up, uh, I would get quite a few phone calls from different new members or potential new members wondering did I score this animal or have any information on this animal and I was lucky enough to judge Balmoral last September. Quite a few members made contact to see if I had seen that animal or have had any information on it. So quite a few of those animals ended up in the south so I'm expecting that there'll be more phone calls or another big long email from the secretary on, on, on members that want to get classified. This also uh, kind of ranks your herds around the countryside as well. So if you were wanting to buy a bull from somebody uh, who's three counties away, you'd be able to find out what her, his mother had been classified. And if she was highly classified, that's probably gonna be a good sign to maybe buy the bull. If the, there's no classification or the classification tends to be on the low side, then that would be a reason to maybe avoid that particular line of animal. Classification is seen to be very important now to breeders. Um, ever since virtual sales started in around two to three years ago. Cattle are sold by video and photograph without the, act, the person actually seeing the live animal. These animals gone up, um, it's risky business for the buyer, but because they have an independent score, it means that the buyer has more of a guarantee that the animal is true to what it looks like in the video. So for this reason, we've seen breeders really jump on and become, include the classification in their herd. I think classification is a, is a very good tool to whenever you're coming to selling animals. And if you have a pride in your animals, um, it helps boost your morale if you have a few animals that go excellent.